Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I will be talking about some of the things that the Lord has been saying to me. But first of all, I'd like to talk of some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'm doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I heard from the Lord and I myself would wonder how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay. I hear from the Lord audibly, just as you can hear me speaking now. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I hear through dreams and visions. Also, I have downloads of information where I would know everything that took place as if I was there when the event happened. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right. Today is the 28th of April, 2020. And I had a vision I'm going to I'm going to call it a vision for simplicity. But I had this vision and I saw all the flags of the world, flags from all over the world representing every country in the world. And I didn't see anyone holding the flags. They were just appearing one by one. And as I stood there looking at these flags appearing, I saw women began to come forth, coming towards me. And these women were representing each one of the flags. And they were all in their traditional clothing. And I stood and I looked to see what was happening. And I could see these women came, they came forth. I recognized um, the Muslim women's clothing and also the... African closing, but I didn't recognize any other. And I continued to look and I realized that they were giving honor to these countries. They were honoring these countries. They were worshiping these countries, acknowledging these countries for their wealth and their success, how, how they've achieved all this wealth and so forth. And I looked on and I began to cry hysterically. I began to cry because I was saying they've not honored God. They've not honored God, but they were honoring these countries, these people. They were giving them accolades. They were, it was like a form of a worship. I just couldn't believe in the vision what I saw. I was so upset when I saw what was happening I began to cry hysterically I cried so much in the vision I was so saddened to think that these countries were not acknowledging God for their successes and you know there's a scripture I believe it's in Romans 1 verse 25 it says they're, they've worshipped or they're worshipping the creature rather than the creator. And that's exactly what these people are doing. They're worshipping everything and everyone except for God. They are taking the honour, the praise, the glory that should go to God. And they are honouring themselves. They are honouring countries. They are giving them accolade. They are giving, him, giving them honour and worship that should have gone to God and they've took him completely out of the picture. They've took him out of the picture. And in this vision, I saw two countries' flags that I recognized and they were, the first one, I couldn't remember the flag, but in the vision, it's like I knew the country's flag. I saw the flag and I knew the country's flag. And then I saw another flag, which is China's flag. In the vision, I was thinking, yes, yeah, India's flag, but the color of the flag is red, red flag, 
with gold, a gold star on it. I couldn't really see the other small um, stars on it, but I could see the prominent, the bigger gold star that was on the flag. And I knew when I came out of the, the vision that this, you know, this flag was China's flag. And God brought these two flags up to me to show me these ones. Because these are the ones, especially these countries who have done well in their economy. They've done well, but they've not acknowledged God. They've took all the praise, all the honor and took him totally out of the picture. And God is not happy. He's not happy with China because he's showing me their flag. He's speaking to me about them and also this other flag. But I couldn't remember, as I said, they've not given him any acknowledgement. They've took all the praise as if they've done so well and all the other countries have joined in, you know, to acknowledge them and to praise them and not remembering anything about God. And God is not happy. This is why he was showing me that he's not happy with them. And I stood there and I looked on and I cried hysterically. I couldn't stop crying. I cried so much. I remember you know, seeing some people from a church who was standing close and I was turning my face to the right because I didn't want people to see me, you know, crying and to be on display because I just couldn't believe I was so, so saddened in this, in this vision. It was just so sad. My heart was so broken when I stood and saw with my eyes what was happening you know, and in this vision, the Lord took me all the way. It was a form of, of a travel. All the way took me there to another side of the world to show me what was taking place. And I saw it and I was broken. I was sad. And so God is going to be dealing with these countries. Also in a vision, I had a vision on the 9th of April, 2020. And I saw China's export being stocked up, all stocked up, not going anywhere. It's not going out anymore. And so God is going to wrench all of these success from these countries because they've took him out of the picture and they've not acknowledged him as God. And so God is not happy. I'm not happy when I saw that either. I'm not happy with what's going on into the world, in this world. And so, you know, this is the, the, the reason why at the end of the video, just like now, at the end of the video, just like now, I call to anyone who has accepted Christ as their personal savior to do so before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone and we could die in our sins Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. He died and he paid the price for our sins that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And so I speak to anyone who hasn't accepted Christ as their personal savior to do so before it's too late because tomorrow is not promised to any man. Also, I want to speak to those who, you know, they've been a Christian, but they've turned away from the faith. I want to speak to these people to repent and to turn back to Christ, to turn from their sins, to turn from their wicked ways and to turn back to him. He is the only way. He is the truth. He is the life and he will return. The Lord spoke to me and I heard that Jesus is coming he is returning and we are living in the last days. And this is why I make so much emphasis on repentance. This is what the Lord is telling me to call repentance. To turn away from your sins and be baptized to accept Christ as their Lord and Savior before it's too late. Because we are living in the last days. We are living in end time. 
and things are about to get worse. It is not about to get any better. So be under no illusion that things will get better. It's going to get worse because it is end time. It is end time, brethren. And so, you know, I plead to you to repent and to turn back to Christ. Christ, as I ask these things in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.